the president has the mandate now he has his uh, you know the majority government he had uh, before the election presidential election he has said that he will speak to all the parties uh, now i'm sure because he has a majority in the uh, near two third majority in the parliament all the other opposition political parties will help he has a plan uh, to do various um, constitutional changes Um, such as uh, to you know discuss with the people to discuss with the other uh, political leaders and to bring out uh, any uh, type of solution which the people were talking about it is uh, you know that, that the certain things that which were there it has shown that it has not the uh, solution for that it has not it has failed Uh, uh practically but what people some people seem to be worried about is that the constitutional change that he might consider is giving the president more power and it seems a lot of people are concerned about that uh, no that that's not uh, in cards i mean it doesn't uh, he need not to have any because he has all the powers <laughs> in uh, is there any chance that he might consider taking some away to actually reduce the executive presidency in its scope I don't think so. I mean, uh, uh, he has uh, um, the uh, there may be necessity of changing certain uh, uh, certain uh, rules and regulation in the sense of method of uh, the elections and those things. Those are separately. I thought you were interested in what uh, changes he's keen on as a solution for the. you know that uh, right, terrorism well, let's finish off then quickly with yeah. with those changes because you stressed economic development as a yeah. way of trying to bring the country uh, to a a more stable level yes yeah. when the military action was taking place against the tamil tigers as you know there was an enormous amount of public interest and a great deal of public criticism and the sri lankan government's response was to uh, deflect that criticism and in fact try to accuse the foreigners of getting the wrong idea There's a fine line here for the president, isn't it? Because if he wants to redevelop and rebuild, he's going to need international cooperation. And if he wants international cooperation, he's going to have to uh, make nice, shall we say, with some of the international bodies. Do you see this as being a problem? Uh, and how do you think he will play that? No, there is uh, absolutely no problem in that because uh, he is genuine. That is what he has to, what the international community and especially the diaspora has to understand. um again uh, what is important is to uh, bring the uh, standard of uh, life of the people who had suffered for so long especially the communities when we uh, ended this conflict 30 years long conflict um, not that only we defeated ltt but uh, we have liberated the people of that area especially the tamil community who has suffered for such a long time uh, who are deprived of a lot of uh, uh, benefits of um, uh, development now uh, it is to you know for to really to get the benefit out of ending this conflict uh, international community and also the diaspora must help if they really if they are really interested in the tamil community they must help the government to bring this development in these areas you know rather than blocking uh, any assistance to the country that mm. is what i am seeing right. that is what even the diaspora should understand to the international community should understand the past is past that now we have to move forward